perfect generator would be the one that delivers the power you need when and where you need it. And for many, a gas generator is going to be the right choice. But for others that don't want to deal with gas, noise, or fumes, a battery powered generator can be a great option. And a year ago, I showed you the EcoFlow Delta, and this thing was really awesome. I did everything with it. I connected it via solar, I plugged it into my house, I even ran my home heating system. This thing was super powerful and super capable, but it was also super expensive. And though I still feel it was worth the money, for most people, they'll never be able to afford one of these. So I was really pleased when EcoFlow announced they were coming out with a less expensive option. But this is their newest model, the R600. This thing is only $299 on Kickstarter, but it isn't just some stripped down version of a Delta where they took features away. It actually has features that even a Delta doesn't have, and you want these. This is expandability. You can actually add a battery pack, so you can get the base unit to start and then add that later to double the output. And if you get two units like this, you can even pair them up and connect them together. Now this is exactly what you do with a Honda gas generator, using just these simple cables. But the single best feature is that you've now got an app that can totally control your unit. No one else in the market has an app to run their battery generator. So let's take a look at these features in detail and put them to the test to see how they do. If you visit EcoFlow's Kickstarter site, you'll see that they have a few other units that are above the R600s, but I really feel that this base R600 is a great way for people to get started, especially if you've never owned a battery generator before. You get three USB ports on the front. Now, one of them is a fast charge port, but additionally, you get a USB-C that's 100 watts. This means that many modern laptops can plug right into it to charge without using an AC adapter. And you get a 12 volt fully regulated cigarette style adapter. And of course, you've got three AC outlets. The R600 can get power many different ways, but the simplest of which is to just plug it into the wall. And you'll notice you don't get one of these AC adapters. This is really good because nobody wants to carry an extra box around. The R600 just plugs right into the wall. You just use a standard computer type cord that they include, and now it can charge up off of your house power. But it won't be plugged in for long because this thing can charge in under two hours when it's plugged in a wall outlet. Now that is faster than any other product on the market by a long shot. Now if you were buying a car and it was a four cylinder, it'd be pretty cool if down the road you could actually turn it into an eight cylinder. And that's kind of what EcoFlow did with this battery expansion pack. You can get the R600 and it's still an awesome unit all by itself for just the $299 price. But if you want to double it and go from 288 watt hours all the way to 578, you can add one of these packs only takes about two minutes and you just basically plug it in the bottom but you've doubled the total output and you also get another cool feature with this battery pack it's got an LED strip integrated into the pack bear in mind of course the battery pack is going to add height and weight to the unit so if you're looking for a total ultralight you might just want to keep it as the base R600 but it still uses the exact same charging cord and everything else remains the same so it's pretty cool that you can really increase the unit this easily no one on the market had an app to control their battery generator. So when EcoFlow told me they had one, I was really excited, but I figured the app was not going to be very good. And I was completely wrong. This is only a beta version of the app, and you can pretty much control everything. So for the first time, you can sit back on your phone and monitor your device. You can see how much power is going in and out. But in addition, you can do some fun stuff like changing the color of the lights or even turning the built-in light off and on. And additionally, you can even do things like updating firmware. And considering this was a beta version, I really think the finished version should be even better. If you plug the R600 directly into a wall to charge it, that's just fine, but it doesn't really become a generator until you connect something like a solar panel to it. And this really adds to the versatility. They give you the solar charging cable right in the box. So if you already own a solar panel, you might just be able to plug right into it. And connecting it is really easy. They have the port located right next to the AC charging port. Just plug right in there, and then you're going to connect the opposite end to your panel, and you're ready to go. The display immediately will show you exactly how much power you're generating and how long it'll take to charge the unit to full capacity. The question I got asked a lot is if you could charge one of these while you're driving and the good news is you can and they give you that cable in the box as well. One end goes into your cigarette lighter and the other end goes into that same port. And the thing is with the R600 it just figures everything out. As Soon as you plug it in the display will turn on and give you the same information. It'll tell you how much power is going into the unit and approximately how long it'll take to reach full capacity. 
common question I get asked is, can one of these units supply power while it's being charged? This is really important if you're gonna use this, especially for a built-in type application. So for this test, I'm using a 250 watt heater and I have it plugged into the AC outlets. And as you can see, it's currently outputting just under 250 watts. Now I'm gonna plug it into house power and see how the unit handles that. It takes a few seconds for the unit to probably figure out what's going on, and now you can see that it is handling the input power as well as running the heater at the same time. So this is what I expected, and it's very much like how the Delta works, and it worked and passed this test just fine. Another new feature that no one else on the market has is that you can plug the two of these together. Now in the Honda gas generator world, this is exactly how it works. You use a special cable and you plug the two generators together and you double the output. Well, it works exactly the same with the R600s. Now you can put out 1200 watts and you'll double the running time with the battery capacity. Unfortunately, I'm not able to test this feature because these are early prototype units. And unfortunately, that function is currently not working. A lot of other YouTubers did the same test and they were also not able to show it. Now if this was a brand new startup company, I would be a little bit more worried, but the EcoFlow Delta was one of the best products that I've ever tested. So I do have faith that they will release these features on the production units, and they've guaranteed to me that that'll happen or people would get their money back. EcoFlow Delta could run just about anything. It's expensive, but it's very cool and it's very big. But on the R600, you have a lot less capacity. So how was it able to run an appliance that uses say 800 to 1200 watts? So for this test, I used my three position heater and I started off on the basic fan setting. Now, of course, this is only using 15 watts, so it worked just fine. But when I put it to the middle setting, this thing should be using about 840 watts. But the EcoFlow was only registering 600 watts, but the heater was still working. So this is their X-Boost function that is very unique and it did seem to work. The heater was still running on the middle setting, but it was only getting 600 watts, but it was still able to deliver more heat than it was at a lower setting. So I can't really explain how the whole function works, but it did seem to allow you to run a higher wattage appliance with this lower amount of output continuously. And you can disable this function so that you just use the unit at its absolute rated capacity. So is this thing the ultimate generator? Well, the short answer is it isn't the ultimate because that's probably the Delta, but the Delta is big money. And I heard from you guys in my comments that it was just too expensive. So at $299, the R600 is an absolute steal. But the next question is there were a lot of reviews of this R600 and they were pretty negative and they were rightfully so because these early units had some problems. Now, because of my own scheduling, when I made this video, there was a firmware update and that firmware update corrected a lot of those issues. So I think to see a lot of the other reviews get updated to show the features working. Now there are still a couple of things that I couldn't show you and bugs in the unit that need to be resolved. EcoFlow confirmed for me that all of these issues will be resolved before the Kickstarter units are delivered. If you want to learn more, you can click on the link in the description or in the top comment. Either way, I appreciate you watching this video and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.